Yo, what's going on guys? It's time for some Cho'Gath top lane. We started with E. We have Grass, Demolish, Conditioning with Overgrowth, and then Presence of Mind and Alacrity. We're going to get one auto down. Now we're going to stop start bopping him. We've got all three minions as well. We traded Grass procs. I've done more damage and I also heal off of minions. I'm waiting for my E to come back up. You can hit him with the, you know, the AoE spread on your E. And still try to last hit the minions that way. You just got grasp off me. That kind of sucks. I'm going to hit level 2 before him at least. I'm going to kite it back with my potions. He's chunking me though. <laughs> He's so fast. Orn has really long auto attack range. For keeping your content awesome. Yo, Floyd. Thank you for the kind words. Thank you for the two months, man. I'm gonna pop double potions here. We've gotta stay away from his stink breath, his stink breath OP. He also has such long auto range, he's out trading us with his grasp. Missed cannon, beautiful thing to see. Missed another minion. Got him. All right, I got his flash. <laughs> I was actually gonna kill him if he didn't flash it. He's gonna get knocked up, silenced into my E. We'll take it. Not the worst trade in the world. We're gonna go straight for the Frostfire Gauntlet Rush. Can't really really buy what I wanna buy. I wanna get the full Balmy Cinder. My wave shoving in Orin isn't gonna get a chance to freeze it here. What do you think about the jungle changes? I think it's unfortunate. Core, what is that? Cornell, 1992. Thank you for the prime. Welcome to the stream, man. A lot of your matchups on Cho'Gath is going to depend on whether or not they are a mobile champion. If they're mobile and range, you shouldn't play Cho'Gath. If they're melee, you're typically be fine because of your high base E damage. Plus, Cho'Gath's been buffed recently. His wave's shoving to me. He dodged my knockup with his... Uh, Stink breath. Yeah, Orin, Orin's definitely a handful. Not a huge fan of this particular matchup. Once we're level 6, we should be in a better spot. As long as you're last hitting the minions, so we'll be getting back some decent HP. It looks like Kha'Zix is bot lane right now. Means I'm free to have my way with Orn. He's bonking me pretty hard. He's tanking some backline minions to do it at least. Ooh, he messed up. Got him. Easy money, baby. If you're a melee champion, you gotta watch out. Cho'Gath's got some damage. And if you can't zone Cho'Gath off the wave, he heals a lot every time he kills a minion. He gets a bunch of mana and HP back. So you gotta keep that in mind. As I miss two minions. I'm missing way too many minions. If you farm half is halfway better than I am right now, you'll be basically full HP. Really gotta land those hits. Gotta land those hits. I'm gonna pick up a control ward, head back to lane. It's in a nice neutral position. Since I have a gold lead, I can easily take him on in a 1v1. We have to keep an eye on the mini map. It doesn't look like they have a roam support and she didn't rush down tier two boots. Kha'Zix is likely to come by top lane soon. Or he might pay a visit to Yasuo since he is shoving. I'm gonna go ahead and mute all so we can focus this one down. Orn doesn't even have bombies yet. So I, th I think we got this. <laughs> We only have 24 CS, but don't worry, guys. We got this one. I wanted that cannon minion. Uh, now that we've landed our slow, we went for the Q. He did flash it, however. If you don't slow them first with your E, it's, like I said, it's basically impossible to land your Q. It takes forever. My wave's going to end up pushing towards his here in a second. Oh, he should have used his stinky breath to avoid that. 
You shouldn't have let me knock him up like that. You just ended up dashing away. I have my R that I want to use on him. Knocked him up right when he... Oh, I can't get to him, though. He's low-key kind of fast. Knocked him up with my Q right when he went to cast his ability. That's another time you can land is if they're in the middle of some kind of animation. Keeping the damage on him. Important. Gonna keep maxing our E. Shove the wave out, make sure it's hitting the whole thing. I should have ignited him first. I didn't get the stack for my R at the very least we got the kill. I thought my silent my auto attack into silence and R would have pinched him, but it didn't. Alright, got that shoved. I'll go ahead and take this plate. Now we'll reset. We are in a beautiful spot. Kha'Zix really should be trying to camp us. Orin's very easy to game for since his kit's overloaded. He's got dashes. He's got multiple CC moves. He's got burst damage. As LS once said, Orin embodies every single role and characteristic of every champion in the game. AoE, mobility, burst... CC. He's got it all really in his kit. And he can even build items in lane. If Kha'Zix would have camped me, this game would have been very easy for them. Instead, he's choosing to camp squirrely lanes like Yasuo, which takes up far more time and is more risky. Little Blue Demon. Thank you for the Prime. Welcome to stream, man. As we build up a bigger lead, we'll get more and more HP off of our R. And then we will just snowball the game. We didn't get a permanent stack off of it, which sucks. We'll get a permanent stack here in a second. Get to max our W second. Your W gives you way more stats per level than your uh, than your Q does. We may just start Ring the minions because he's not really willing to fight us anymore. He's not willing to fight us. We'll get more value out of just not even trying to use it on him. Why is Rail top right now? She's trying to help me sneak a kill. Wow, Rel doesn't seem balanced. Once again, I didn't get the kill with my R. It is very tragic. I didn't think Rel would be able to tank that hard. I guess she stole his stats. Still not very familiar with Rel's limit tests. I'll stay for this plate. Sir P, we thank you for the prime. Welcome to the stream, man. Why do I have my map in my left corner? I'm left eye dominant. Gonna bop him up and I'm gonna leave. I just wanted that turret play. I'm building an even bigger gold deed. <laughs> I still don't have any permanent R stacks. I'm gonna start using it on the minions. Is he gonna check this bush? Please don't. Don't do it, I beg you. Against their team, I'm actually feeling the Merc treads. I think it would be foolish not to go Mercs. One, Morgana Snare is three seconds when it's maxed. So if I don't have Mercs, I'm gonna be in there for 10 years. So we'll go Mercs. If it, is, if it is an AD top laner who's like pure AD damage, something similar to a Fiora. Well, she has true damage even. I don't know. Like any, any kind of physical damage to top laner, you may consider plated steel caps. Otherwise, Merc treads are typically the way to go. The bigger you get on Cho'Gath, the easier it is for them to land skill shots on you. So Merc treads start to pay off. No reason to freeze it on him when I can crush him. Finally did it. He did the thing. Dodged my CC. 1E, e, we can shove the wave, especially with this item. Bop. Bada boom. Kha'Zix is mid lane. He's still not coming over here. I want to land my demolish on this. He's, is he going to give up the minions? He's gonna give up the minions? <laughs> Alright, he gave up the minions. It is what it is. <laughs> I wanted to hit it. I gotta be careful because my item burns him. Just being near him. Kha'Zix is coming over here right now. I gotta get out. 
So if, if he were to even get near me without me even hitting him, the turret's gonna aggro me and I'm gonna die. Got him. That's some damage right there. We hit him with our slow before we went in for our Q. Ideally, you hit him with your slow silent so they can't flash and then Q, but a lot of the times you only have time to, to just bop him with the E. We're starting to hit our stride here. Still have item advantage on Orn. I'm gonna pressure that my turret demolish, making miss minions for it. It's gonna have to choose between walking close to me to proc turret or <laughs> or getting minions and he's choosing to fight me. Actually a good thing for me. I need to get out of here though. Kha'Zix is gonna come back. I don't need this. Lilia can take it. I can't chase him down. It's fine. Lilia can keep taking his stuff. This is what lane prio does. You move in with your jungler and you just start taking their stuff. Kha'Zix is going to have to get pushed away. And he's probably flaming Orn. He's like, Orn, what are you doing? Lilia can take this all. And I'm going to continue to shove. I'm going to ult this at 1,000 HP. Good, good, good. Got another R stack. Permanent HP. Got it. Turret's gonna aggro me because of my burn. Kinda sucks. Oh, my auto attack isn't going off. Oh well. Orange's feeling very timid since I have Lilia here. I don't blame him. Look at this healing boy. Who needs life still when you have a Cho'Gath passive? I guess he's gonna start grabbing the waves. That's kind of funny. My R is up. I kind of want to just stay here, dude. I can still use my R on minions and little monsters four more times. So I might as well just stay. Kha'Zix is bot side. I don't even need my R. If Kha'Zix is gonna come gank top, I want my R to fight. What well, junglers are good to one trick any of them, honestly. If you one-trick any champion, you'll get better results. You'll have, you'll be less indecisive. Kind of surprising he's not taking more damage than that from tanking whole waves. And you're going to say, well, you're doing that too. But I, I have Cho'Gath passive. I'm getting healed for doing it. And I'm way sexier than him, so... I mean, just look at that smile. <laughs> Chogat's always smiling. He's always got his teeth out, mouth wide open. Alright, that kind of sucks. I might have actually been able to live. I thought I might be able to kill the Orn. It's whatever. We got Orn Flash, we got Heimer R. Kind of needed the back anyways. It's not the end of the world. If my R was up, I would have killed him. It is what it is. We'll go ahead and go into... I guess we'll go Thornmill. I think Thornmill will be decent. Or we could go for like movement speed. I'll go Thornmill. It's going to help me out a lot with turrets. Saw that pink horn. You don't particularly roam a lot on Cho'Gath since he's immobile. His roams aren't great. It's not like you have a Camille dash. So you, you typically stay in lane until it's time to team fight, group, or play around objectives. If you are running TP Cho'Gath, that's fine. You'll just have a little less kill potential in lane. And if you don't have Ignite you a lot in a lot of matchups, like Fiora or Irelia, you're going to want to rush an early Bramble Vest. That'll give you a lot more value if you do not have Ignite because you'll need that heal cut one way or another. Cannon Wave, I'm going to use my R. We 
There we go. I need to back off a bit. Look for scuttles, maybe roam mid since Heimerdinger's that far up. Kind of hard to chase. Welcome back to the stream, Peaches. He's up really far. He's moving at 453 movement speed. That's so fast. I'm only moving at 390. Like, I can't get to him if he doesn't want me to. This is the thing. If he would have juked that, he would have lived. He doesn't have happy feet. He also panicked because he saw the rail. He just wanted to get out of there. My team barely clipped him. I think our team scales really well. As long as my R gets big enough to just basically one-shot everybody. Otherwise, Vayne's going to be a huge issue for me. Just a few auto attacks and I'm going to die. Mid turret down. I'm going to roam into the top side. I need Lily to roam through this way. Mm, there's Yasuo doing Yasuo things. Kha'Zix is looking up for the clay. I can get over there and change the outcome possibly. Or not. Well, maybe. Flash on this guy. Alright, we've got Kha'Zix. I mean, uh, we got the Orn. And we got Kha'Zix jump down. Lilia can probably fight him since his jump's on cooldown right now. I don't care. I have Thorn Mal. I'm not going to take much damage. I gotta move. I'm going to get you, big boy. He's a goner. Poor Kha'Zix, man. <laughs> He's got a Cho'Gath in his jungle. I'll give it to Lilia. She's got jungle items. She'll get more XP from it. Let's collapse on Heimer. He's overshoving. He should group top lane and take my turret. You always want to get the all the outer turrets before you start going in for the deep turrets. It gets really risky because you can get collapsed on like this. Bane scares me. I have to hold on to my Q. If I use it too early and she flash past it or something, I'll have no way to really uh, subdue her. So we're just going to keep walking away for it. Make, make her use her R or something. Put more pressure on me before I'm really forced to do anything. I don't like this fight. I don't have my R. Oof. And we don't have the rest of our team. And Lily doesn't have her R. Just not a good time to fight. If Lilia had her R, I'd be a little more down. I think Lily is probably going to die here now. But, ooh, never mind. Good flash by her. We're going to go straight for... I kind of want Gargoyle. Bonus shield that decays. Uh, that's actually not extra HP. That sucks. We'll go for Dead Man's Plate instead. I don't think I need that much magic resist since I have Merc Treads as is. And I have plus 14 magic resist off of my rune. Definitely carryable. We just need to avoid these like weird fights because if the enemies get dragon soul it's gonna nerf my r oh that almost hit me are they going for dragon or not <sighs> morgana black shield what a treat gotta love morgana couldn't press r on him in time can't get to him is the thing it's it's too hard his teammates are backing him up Morgana's tossing out black shields like candy I may actually have to get some magic resist after all oof I don't like this I really want to press R on somebody I can't can use one more R on minions, I suppose. I'm gonna go top lane. Kind of risky to be running around by myself. We got the enemies pretty low before we left. Like to save this turret. Who's this? Yeah, Orin, I see you, dude. You're looking like a stinky, stinky little mouth breather with that fire breath. 
Orn's strongest ability. He breathes his terrible breath on you, and it really freaking hurts. Gotcha. It really does hurt. It does so much damage. Oh, wow, that slowed her. Van got deterred there really hard. Well, at least Lily gets the kill, hopefully. Nice, nice, nice. I, I got the permanent stack off of the Orn. I still have one more stack I can use on a minion or little monster. Beautiful. I'm going to go into Force of Nature now for more movement speed. Unfortunately, Gargoyle Stone Plate, they said, you know what? We need to change this item. No longer will it be good on Cho'Gath because now it only gives a shield. Cho'Gath wanted extra bonus HP to make his R do more damage, so now gargoyle it's still good on him but it doesn't have that synergy on any tank champion it's good late game as a final item kind of don't want to build it just despite them after taking that away from me this game is going well very carryable all i have to do is land one good q you also can press r and then we win is warmog's good on cho yes Warmox is typically good since they have a vein. I'm not leaning that hard into it right now. If they didn't if they if they didn't have max health true damage on their team, oh I'm dead. Like I said, if they didn't have max health true damage on their team, I'd be more inclined to buy it. Double knock up on the vein. You also couldn't do anything because he was snared. Yeah, this vein's just kind of ruining my mojo. Hits me with three autos and I lose about a quarter of my health. Morgana Black Shield. She doesn't even have to try to dodge my cubes of that. Oh, nice pick on the Kha'Zix. Bell's going in deep. Knocked up the vein. Like I said, it doesn't really count though. Because it's vein. What is she doing? She's not even auto-attacking. That must have been a lag spike right there. She forgot how to auto <laughs> for three seconds. Got him. Let's get him, boys. Mm, I guess we didn't get him, actually. I'm too low. I have to pull out. I can't use my R to get more stacks on my passive now. I may actually end up getting a Wormog for the healing after my uh, Force of Nature, of course. That's the wrong... Uh, that's not Force of Nature. This is Force of Nature. Get him, boys! Enjoying your content, thanks, bro. Oh my god. Thank you for the kind words, Meadow, and thank you for the six months, dude. Orn, stop being like that. Stop being so lame. Couldn't get the Heimer because of Orn. Oof, what a game. <laughs> this is... Imagine trying to dodge a freaking Morgana Snare on Cho'Gath, like I'm too big. I'm actually too large for my own good. It's a curse. I gotta back out now. Can Yasuo do it? Not quite, he got exhausted and that's Dragon Soul for the enemies. We really need to fight Dragon Soul. We need to fight for Dragon Soul badly. Like, really, really badly. Why is Zaya so low? Just die more gonna let it happen. Yes. Did she get Kha'Zix? Nearly. I'm gonna get Orn. He has no chance 1v1. He got knocked up. He couldn't even hit his R. Feels bad for Orn. Perfect Q timing by me. Just kill him, guys. We need to get this dragon. 
let Zaya catch the wave. Yeah, he's on it right now. What a rat. He's healing off of it because jungle items so overloaded. Oh my god, he messed up the smite. Dude, he actually just... Wow. He would have guaranteed the win for them. The, the, the Earth Dragon gives roughly 200 to 400 shield per champion. That hard nerfs my R since my R is just a huge true shot, one shot machine. We've got our Force of Nature now and we'll go for War Mogs. Vayne counters it because, you know, Vayne does max out true damage for some reason. But the War Mog will be really useful in these long, weird fights that they're forcing because I can pull out. Uh, yeah, I'll pull out for like 10 seconds. That's what she said. And then I'll be full HP. So OP, dude. Cho'Gath is a pull-out machine with mogs. I'm at 5k HP. We got 10 ult stacks. They don't have... Ooh, what is this? Is Morgana soloing Lilia? Do my eyes deceive me? God, Kha'Zix, I hate you so much. <laughs> Look at her go. Yes, landed it. Yasuo Windwall blocks Orn R. How balanced is that? Orn's shooting a freaking basically mountain at us, and Windwall's like, nah, but wind, bro. Wind counters all. We won that fight, by the way. Kind of insane. I think it's... Like, not, not to throw blame around. If their vein was just a little bit better at kiting, I think they would have a chance. She's just... She's struggling with the kiting right now. And if you struggle with kiting, Cho'Gath's gonna press R on you, and my R's doing... True damage to champions. My R is doing over a thousand true damage to champions right now. That's insane. Like half their HP. It's more than half of Vayne's. Vayne only has 1400. She's pretty squishy. Gotta play around my teammates. When you're out of position on Cho'Gath, you just die. You're too damn big. You can't dodge anything. How does she know? What the hell? This Morgana's got a sixth sense. <laughs> That's what I was talking about. You just actually can't dodge stuff. It's, it's just not possible. Get me out, Lilia, no. I don't like this fight at all. Take me with you, Orn. Take me with you. All right, I'm out of there. I don't want to die. I'm sitting on shutdown gold. I do need war mock so I can heal up out of these weird fights. Solid, solid, solid. This is the true power of Cho'Gath late game. You press R and you press E. Your W's and your Q's don't matter as much. We'll wait on Fountain for our War Mogs. We need a little bit of gold. Ooh. Chelsea made nachos. I am one lucky man. Looks like we got some guacamole, tomatoes, tofu. Cashew cheese sauce, black beans, and some other stuff on there. She did the works on those. A lot of food for big boy Cho. Look at that. Dude's freaking massive. All right, let's go. Let's get it. All we have to do is 5v5 and we'll win with Yasuo win wall. My R is doing nearly 1200 true damage. What is this? Orn used his R way too early. His team can't follow up on it. He's using it like a max range blitz hook. Got him. Oh, 
Oh, I didn't even see Kha'Zix back here. Not so fast, buddy. Oh no. Morgana missed snare on on me somehow. <laughs> on like max health show gun. <laughs> Look at this, I can't. <laughs> There's just no way. Yeah, Vayne's trying to make some Gosu moves. It's not panning out though. It's unlucky. I can't move guys. I just can't move guys. Oh my god. I feel like I'm playing in earth like I'm permanently snared <laughs> I get out of the Morgana snare then Heimer stun the Morgana snare then Heimer stun I have enough time to pinch off an auto or two before I get re-snared And I can't dodge it. That's a big issue if I could dodge it. I'd have a massive window for actually killing them Dang they're gonna get Dragon Soul off of that. It's unlucky. A final item to round off your build, typically Gargoyle Stone Plate, or you can go for a Titanic Hydra. A Titanic Hydra would basically give us 100 attack damage and a bunch of AoE. Question is, is what item would I sell for it? Every item I have is giving me super high value. I mean, yeah, I just it's hard to say. Like maybe the Force of Nature? But I'm taking a lot of magic damage. I mean, if I got rid of my boots, I think I'd be too slow. And if I sold my boots right now, I wouldn't be able to afford it anyways. I think we just A-ram it and we should win it. As long as we're together, what's happening is like Kha'Zix is finding Lilia. And then Lilia is not able to use her stuff. If we have a real 5v5, we just win it. Ooh, there's Heimer. Okay, maybe maybe not, because I'm gonna die at the very start of it. Oh my god, I just threw. I walked into them like 1v5. Look look at that guys. Look at that true damage. Vayne only did 1000 damage to me. Like physical damage, and then she did like 2000 true damage. Jesus. That's GG, my bad. GG's my bad. I kind of threw it. Ultimate counter to Cho'Gath is Vayne. You may just want to ban Vayne if you want to play Cho'Gath. She's his lowest win rate top lane matchup. and Or if they play her bot lane, it can make late game a lot more challenging than it needs to be. If you guys enjoyed this video, regardless of throwing, I hope you guys enjoyed this Cho'Gath top lane commentary guide. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Kingsticks, thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.